Okay, so the heater coil checked okay, the thermistor checked okay, but the thermostat wasn't acting very good, and so I replaced that and gave it a few days and it still acted up. This is my home refrigerator. What I found was this compressor relay that and it's marked com compressor actually feeds the defrost relay which is over here on the right and the corner edge of it was kind of bowed out like it had taken some heat um, and it basically taken some heat from the flip side causing this thing to sort of bow and not open and close so it was actually open so basically I just took a small hacksaw and cut the top edge off and then test retested it because applying 12 volts to this when I took it off you can see there's a little diagram here there's two points you apply 12 volts and it rocks between these two points it wasn't rocking and it was not working so I uh, put the uh, transformer or the relay back in and then I made a physical connection from this point to this point which this is the compressor uh, lead and this is the center of the defrost lead so what happens is the defroster uh, the compressor turns off and then the defrost comes on so nothing can happen in between these um, boards are really delicate and they're hard to work with uh, because they have a coating on them and the only way you can really get the coating off is to solder over them so I found that this these are called barrel connectors where they go through and they're notorious for going bad so this will probably be good for a few years but in essence, uh, it's it's $135 for a new board or $100, something like that. Nine times out of ten, that'll solve it. I uh, just wanted to see if this actually took care of it.